Hey everyone and welcome to an impromptu video on Kitten's Corner. We're going to be doing a couple of things tonight. We're going to talk about um, what's going on as far as my work situation. I have posted some things on my Facebook page saying that I was going to back off of the rewarding for a while because I'm having a medical issue going on. So I'm going to actually try to explain that in this video and I, I'm going to try to continue to do the painting even though I'm just I'm going to have to be a little careful about how I like handle the dolls and stuff because it is actually the walking and the sitting for prolonged time that is actually the medical condition so unfortunately it took me off of my my job where I'm cooking and a chef and what have you and but so that gives me plenty of time but to sit for prolonged times is extremely painful right now so it's it's um my back um i did get an mri and unfortunately i have a, a disc that is actually bulging i saw the pictures and stuff it looks like a little glob sitting literally like on my spinal column so they're gonna try to do injections or what have you but in the meantime, in between time, thanks to Corbett, I am having to wait to get the appointment set because I have to wait for the hospital to allow those kind of things to happen in its um, facility. So it's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. And I can't really do anything about that until they actually um, open it up, but try to deal with the pain the best I can which unfortunately means that I can't work because it would mean me actually using my back end again the pain it will have you in tears um I, I I took a hiatus so that I could try to figure out what would be a more comfortable position or a way to keep myself from hurting as intensely but right now the best I'm doing is um kind of switching between standing laying sitting as soon as my back starts bothering me then i switch positions so right now though i do have the cuddles kit on my drying block i am kind of looking it over let me see if i can show you how far we've actually got with it and i'm going to make it a boy and so f what i could say is so far so good he's looking kind of yummy yummy good um i do still have to do eyebrows i um still have to paint his nails to get the tips on there good because you know i, I like to have them really nicely tipped or what have you but so far so good i think that he's turning out really nicely i can't wait to see him after i heat set him one more time and after I finish painting, do my detail painting. I'm also working on something new. Okay, it's, it's like more of an endeavor, but Bountiful Baby came out with the three year June. I am extremely ecstatic that I actually, after round two, because the first time they had her actually on sale, they sold out probably in within two hours. That's how like everybody's biting at the bit to actually do it. So, and I'm one of the people that was biting that bit. So, they literally, I sent, got an email that said, she's available. And I was like, well, I'll get her on my lunch break. The time I went on my lunch break, she had sold out. That's how serious this is. So, I'm very excited because for some strange reason, when they actually put her back on, they did an impromptu sale. And I'm going to open this right because I'm thirsty. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry. Yeah, so anyway, they not only informed me that she was there, but they told me she was on sale. So believe it or not, a very kind of on the higher end price kit I actually got for a very nice price. I'm so excited about actually getting there. And the reason I wanted to wait because they, they sold her as a seconds kit, which if you're familiar with Bountiful Baby, and even if you're not, if you get a seconds kit, you're getting what Bountiful Baby looked at and was like, mm, nah, we don't, 
want to sell this because they found flaws now as an artist I could probably look at the kits and go yeah this is what they were talking about but for just the average person like say you just want to start on a cheaper price kit but you want it to be something that people know like you want it to have a name that if you say that people are like oh like if you say June or if you say Tibby or if you say Felicity people know exactly what company you're talking about and if you're trying to sell the kit if you're not just a novice just trying to make a kit for yourself it's a matter of having and I'm gonna find it this and that is a certificate of authentic authenticity I'm gonna say it right in a second I'm trying to get it get the camera to zone in and every time you get a real born kit which is which are their nicer kits you get one of these so if you get a second which means they didn't really approve it you don't get one of these now as a person that is doing it to try to sell it this means the difference between me saying hey you need to give me a good price for her and hey I painted her and this is my version of her and people, people are going to say well I didn't get this and then you have to truth in advertisement is the world to me so if I don't get that if I do get a second kit seconds kit I usually state that in my sales it's, it's it shoots me in the foot but it also covers me as far as truth and advertisement because they know they're getting a second kit and I don't sell it for as much because it's not what Bountiful Baby goes eh this is not our our best work so far be it for me to say oh this is their best work and it's really not so my 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 um buyers get the truth in everything I do like I if, if it's not even if it's an overseas kit you're gonna know it if it's an unbranded kit you're gonna know it and if I did spend um like the right amount of money and bought the kits even when I was getting the few from Irresistibles they all kind of came with that then then you're gonna know that as well because they're gonna get you're gonna get that certificate sent home with you if I got it <laughs> um so I was I said I'll do it like on cam so I'm going to go so it's kind of a box opening yay first of all I want to show you her eyes and I guarantee you I probably put it somewhere I can't grab it real quick because I pre you know I pre open box because I'm I have the patience of a two year old and I do not see her eyes why don't I see your eyes I looked at her eyes and I still don't did I put them back in here Oh, yeah. I did, I did, I did. I was, cause I'm, I was thinking maybe I kind of took them out and then put them somewhere else. I got her these very pretty, and I'm nowhere near this camera. <laughs> green eyes. They're absolutely gorgeous, and the camera's not really doing them justice. But they're like a really kind of a royal green. I haven't really seen. I think I have bought that color before. These, are, I guess, because they're bigger, because she's a bigger baby um they they're, they're just like they stand out so i'm gonna try to pick a hair color and skin tone that's gonna actually um pull that out i'm thinking of flesh five but just simply because um i don't think I, i'm leaning towards her being more of a fairer skin but i also want to give her a sense of her being kind of a um mixed baby kind of so I'm not gonna lean like to the higher fair skin colors, but I'm not gonna make her like like a shade darker than she needs to be because I think it'll take away from her eyes. So so far I'm I'm, I'm actually buying and get have in the works because that was the other thing. I they sold the kit, but the bodies were out of stock. So all right, I literally today looked on Bounty for Baby, and now the body is literally on its way and with the paint. So I'm excited about that as well. So here we go. Yay! I also, which is totally different from anything I've ever done before, I bought the skeleton, like the the, the armatures, what they call it. I call it, it looks like a, a mini, it's an it's a armature basically. So she will, this is the head, head, it's, it's literally to me it's like a little skeleton, but 
her legs go like that that's her arms right there that's her spinal cord and using this spinal cord my this one about right there is where the budge bulge is look at that look at me doing the doctor work so where it should be closed it's a it's a um oh it's a tear literally in my column and it has like muscles poking out and they're pressing on my nerves and i wouldn't wish that on anyone but anyway i bought this because i want her to be able to stand for me because you know i always kind of like my have a rule of thumb if i don't love it then i'm not selling it so i kind of want to see if i can get her to stand now the reason that's important is i have two more standing dolls i have two kit tibby kits and i think you might remember if you rewind in my video you'll see a tibby standing but she does not have an armature so if she stands up really well i'm going to turn around and buy the two armatures for the two tibby, tibby kits that i have i have plans for those two muhahaha um I'll, I'll get into that in a later video though so i'm not really I'm not rushing with those plans because unfortunately Bountiful Baby sold the kits and they didn't have the bodies available. But I went on ahead and snagged the kits. Uh, Tibby's not a real born. Tibby was kind of one of the first kits that, one of the first few kits that I ever did. So I was very excited to see her back on the market and I kind of regretted selling um, both. Of, I sold the African American version and the Caucasian version ended up selling as well so this is like round two and it gives me a chance to you know this time better painting skill better rooting skill so hopefully these tibbies will turn out really nice all right this is our little girl's feet and when i say little i mean big girl she's actually a printed off of a real baby if you want to take the time well real little girl if you want to take the time to look on bountiful baby you can see pictures of her real self but look at the detailing in that. And that's like crazy, right? Like, look at those details. Look at all those little crinkles and everything. And remember my saying, like, the more details you have to make look really nice and make your baby stand out are also opportunities to mess up. So we will be swiping like a crazy mad person every time like every you know every limb we paint we will be going over them over and over until we get the the color we want because she's she's a really big girl these are her arms again kind of like you can get an idea of how really big this kit is this big kit is huge now observation the myla kit that i had the, the other standing doll that i had i might actually buy her an armature too she's one of my she's now kind of adopted into one of my personal collection but i think the armature would actually i'm gonna see again how well this one actually works on this doll and if it works really well i'm going to because myla has an armature but it's literally just like a wire hanger to me it has the feel of a wire hanger that feels solid and i should be able to pose her better and i think that that would make a, a world of difference as far as her presentation and suck be able to stand her have her like stand up and do little crazy things but look at this this detailing guys is amazing i am um, over the moon excited about painting this little one i'm gonna like all my nail skills and everything are really gonna show out because she actually has very large cut cuticles and <laughs> cuticles uh cuticles <laughs> and everything else can you imagine it turning and then being tipped at the end oh yes we're gonna have a great time with her and now like drums please <laughs> her head da, 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 da. and this is the june kit you guys she is absolutely i'm 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 so excited i'm like yeah, i can't wait i can't wait to Green, little miss this is june that's her name and so we'll stick with june till i get her get a little color on her and then we'll see what she looks like but as you can see like in comparison like she's not a little baby at all what i am gonna do before i start painting her with the heat set is make sure that i can get her head in that oven <laughs> before i um 
start heat setting her in there and I don't want to run the risk of actually melt like melting her or what have you and just to, so that you can see by comparison yeah this is the 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 cuddles kit and this is the June kit and as you can see there is a big difference in head size and head circumference now what I'm hoping is the fact that her head laying this way almost is like the same width and but again if it isn't that's not truly a problem we will just have to give it a go with the air dry that I have and um, take our time of course no rushing ever and see if we can't bring her to life with the air dry paint you know it's going to 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 bother me because I know I'm gonna have to work a little harder because I'm not proficient as much as I am with the heat set but I don't want to mess up this kit either um, I want to do do her do her paint job justice I also need to make sure that I can put her arms on the little tray I am I am gonna have to heat set her in three sections that's I can't get away get out of that because she is long her limbs are long her limbs are as about as long longer than if you can remember the Emmy kit so her half a limb is about as long as Emmy's whole leg so that gives you an idea of how really kind of life size this dog is going to be. Um, I'm planning on, I do want to make her a girl, not just, not because I kind of, I kind of see her as a girl. I don't, I haven't seen her as a boy. I have seen her in different skin tones. Um, some I like and some I'm like squinting the eye going, eh, I don't really think that represents her exactly. But I do know that my version like i said is going to be semi leaning towards on the mix side maybe a little touch of uh, um i don't really want to say like um like like a little little a little uh, like a or well tan caucasian person i don't know i don't know we'll see when when we get her done how she actually i'm gonna let the paint kind of do the talking and then however I see her when I get finished like I'm going to paint her and then put her eyes in and go yeah you look like you have red hair brown hair or something you know what have you and she's gonna be my own creation I was also thinking about maybe trying the wig version but to me I feel like as an artist that's kind of a, a uh, really like uh, you're skipping a really important step which make make you stand out from it being a doll from it being something someone could have bought at the store because even even the ones at the store the hair is rooted so <laughs> but just slapping a wig on after you've taken the time to do all the artistry kind of is like I don't know putting $20 hood caps on a um, Ferrari or something you know you just why why buy the Ferrari and get a nice paint job and then put twenty dollar hubcaps on it? You wouldn't do that. You would go on ahead and spring and get the, the ones that actually fit in and spin around and all the other good stuff that people get for cars. I don't know why I use a car analogy. I don't know about cars. <laughs> but anyway, I'm pretty sure that was a good analogy. <laughs> um so I mean or it's like buying a steak and putting ketchup on it how about that i do no food so it's like getting a 75 dollars steak and then slabbing it up with ketchup like i'm sure the chef is going why are you kidding are you serious they put instead of getting like a demi glaze or something you're gonna slap on <laughs> some heinz <laughs> some heinz ketchup or some you know that's kind of that's a better analogy because i do no food so yeah, you just like it's just something like you wouldn't do. Like why like why put all the effort into the paint job and then slack up on the hair. Now I do see some cute dolls with wigs. I mean, it does what it does. That's I mean, it is what it is, but when you when you commit it to that wig then your buyer now can is limited to how they can do the hair. Their, their, the options are limited because if they want to feel like the realness of it they can't because this doll looks like it has a wig on if you put it certain like if you 
hike it up then it's gonna actually look like it has a wig on because the you'll see all the waifs and stuff like that and the better thing to do would be to root it so guys so that's pretty much what's going on um like even now like like <laughs> wrap this up real quick because i need to to kind of stand and walk around or what have you before i um get the painting i didn't me to not have started but i wanted to make sure i got all the points i wanted to hit across yeah um so hopefully in the next couple of weeks i will get the injection and according to what i have read and what the doctor said i should be to the point where the injection should kick in and i should be able to return to work so i'm excited about that i mean you i'm i'm because i'm one of those kind of people this sitting around waiting the pain is the only thing that reminds me that yeah you can't go back to work when I take um, too many steps I know I've taken too many steps and I'm hurting so I can't imagine walking around for eight or nine hours and not not like this so but it kind of did make me sad and then I'm, I'll, I'll admit it like like you know everything that happened like losing the dog everything kind of like hit me boom 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 and then knowing that you know my choice was work in pain or back off of work and I felt like like I was losing a whole lot of control in my life um even because even like doing this like like to do it for any prolonged period of time is it gets noticeably painful to the point where that I have to stop and I have to walk around and shake it off and hopefully I'll you know I can shake it off enough so I can jump back on it or try to you know I, like I'm not in control of the situation I guess is what I felt like and that kind of made me like overly sad but I'm trying to like I guess like try to stay in control of the situation thus doing the video because I feel like I'm putting myself on the spot and I feel like I'm telling you hey this is what I'm gonna do right I'm gonna finish this doll I'm gonna get him rooted I'm gonna try to get him on eBay because it'd be nice to make a sale right now <laughs> but and then I'm going to get the the challenge doll done and try to get her I either and then make the decision of you know is she too cute to sell or am I going to sell her or what have you um but it it the pain takes a toll on you so it, it kind of like it interferes with your thinking because it's a prominent part it becomes a prominent part of your life and if you've ever like had a pain that like really really bad pain then um, and then imagine that pain never going away like it eases up but it never fully goes away so you got to kind of make yourself push forward because unfortunately me doing nothing is probably worse for me than me trying to do something because now I'm not using my back at all and now I'm just you know it's just my muscles are sitting up there getting tightened which is why I'm trying to get into physical therapy so I can stay loose which is the name of the game so that's where we are um I'm going to continue to try to bring the videos in the mean, what to say in the meantime I will tell you what's going on with the Tibby dolls the little plan I have with them so I'm looking forward to explaining that video to you guys and then I'm also going to continue doing the doll of the day which the doll of the day was the June kit <laughs> I feel like she she's the doll of today so I'm not gonna worry about showing another doll and then I'll also decide about the um the armatures and seeing if it if I want to try that on um, the Myla kit that I have and if I do I will do some photos with her standing on her own if it actually works because I think that'll be actually pretty cool but yeah so I look forward to showing up again I, I would say I'm back, but I'm not 100% back, but I am still here, <laughs> and that says a lot, so I think for right now, that's kind of where I am, I'm here, I'm here, and I'm going to 
keep doing what the doctor tells me hopefully the shots will kick in and i'll be fine or you know copacetic or what have you but i'm here and i thank you so much for hanging out with me today and you know if this is your first time seeing these videos go on ahead hit that like and subscribe button and i will try to get out more fresh videos that are not so uh you know personal but i i feel like you know i felt like i could share this with you guys so but and then if this is your first time feel free to roll through the other videos i have very good instruction no videos if you're new to reborning welcome i hope that you can stroll through my videos and actually learn how to reborn or at least get a hint of how to reborn and then at the end of the day you can make those decisions on what you need to tweak and what i was kind of spot on about and i do have like some inspirational videos in there and business any videos if you're new to reborning period and you want to know what's the big deal i even have a video on that i have a video on why it's so expensive and the camera just kind of fell <laughs> so i even have a video if you want to know why most reborns are kind of up there and pricey i even have that on there and i talk about some of my videos why um the difference between overseas versus um something someone actually worked on and why there's a difference so i got a good collection of videos you can kind of slide in and peek through and we will see y'all next time y'all have a great night